Why do you have his car? That barnacle head, Plankton. It's no wonder people were stabbing him in the back. What happened? Cheap bastard. You know, I really don't get why you hang out with people like that, Mikey. I really don't. Oh my... Answer a fucking question. I asked for a fair day's pay after a fair day's work. He kind of got a little angry. So, I admit, I kind of got a little angry. Did you kill him? What kind of fucking sponge do you take me for? No, I didn't kill him. Oh, fuck. But I did kidnap his wife. Oh, no. Oh, shit. What the fuck did you do? Oh, I just told you what I just did. Yep, it's a shame they had to cross the wrong sponge. So, yeah, Mikey, unfortunately, I think we're gonna have to lay low for a little while. While, you know, we discuss things with Plankton. <laughs> oh, you think? Why don't you pop in the back? Karen already called Shotgun. Don't you worry, Mikey. I know a very nice place we can hang out. It's a very relaxing little place I got for a great price after leaving Bikini Bottom. Tomorrow. Hey, Jimmy, it's your dad. Listen, if you get this, can you give me a ring? Tell your mom too, will ya? And Tracy. Please, son. Daddy's been a bad boy. Oh, please, son. Wah, wah. Wanna sniff? The fuck is wrong with you? Oh, you see, the way I see it is, this place was built by and for gasoline. So I'm just doing my duty as a patriotic sponge by doing this stuff. Oh man, it's cheap like crabs, but it's good. Gasolina? No. Ah, <laughs> uh, sorry, Mrs. P. Um, Mikey, wanna kelp shake? Sorry I got nothing low carb. Oh, fuck you. Uh, where'd you two go when you went out, you and your boyfriend? Me and Patrick? Why do you care? I don't care. Just trying to conversate. Well, we were up putting bubble baths in his place. Ah, you know, there's more to this gig than just going crazy all the time. Killing everyone in sight. Didn't forget the pickles that time, though, did I, Bess? But you know, Mikey... Just because you feel bad about taking people out, it doesn't make you more of a sponge than me. And your street philosopher bullshit, that's gotten you real far. Oh yeah, you've achieved perfect balance. Balance? You've gone, Mikey. You spent ten years in Bikini Bottom. Now listen to you. You've gone crazy. You say things that don't mean anything to me. What do you mean, balance? And I only kill on the weekends. So Monday, Wednesday, and Friday, I'm doing my sponge yoga and meditation. So, Tuesdays and Thursdays, me and Patrick take care of people like Bubble Baz, Pickle Hiding Barnacle Head. But you think I'm crazy. Compared to you, I'm so sane that I should open a mental health clinic. Okay, yeah. Now, you gonna stop being an asshole? I don't know, but I'll try. I like your honesty. I, uh, spoke to Patrick. Why? Because unlike you, he hears his homies are having trouble, and he has no problem coming to help. So you're ensuring that we lie low? Out here? By calling LS and inviting a known accomplice of ours? You know to come what? out here, what, for a little visit? That is so fucking typical of you. You don't even ask about the trouble. You instantly think of yourself. You know, Mikey, you're starting to sound like Bubble Baz. You're right. I did do that. Apologize. It's not good enough. I'm leaving. I might die. I hope you're happy. Right. Hey, I'm coming with you. No. Yes, I am. No. If nothing else to get out of this fucking dump. You're not going. Have fun, boss. Well, I'm going. Make sure you don't. Don't stay out too late.